Hello and welcome to Turning Veganist from friends. <laughs> of course, I'm in France right now and, and I know haters will say it's fake, but I'm totally there. Or I mean here. Yes, that's right. Uh, yeah, I'm here to demonstrate that you can be vegan while in France. That's right. Okay, so let's go. Let's go. We, we know what the, we know what this is about. Okay. You came here, you clicked on the video because you already you already know that there's going to be some questions and I'm going to provide the answers. <laughs> That's right. So let's go for a little bit of Q with some A in it. So let's go, let's go to the first question. I, I, I'm feeling, I don't know, I'm feeling doubtful. I, I don't know if this batch of questions is gonna be good, bad, or, or a mix. I don't know, it could be anything, you never know. That, that's the fun part, right? You never know with these questions. Um, so let's let's go. Uh, let's see what's, uh, what my producer, Joss Whedon, has for me today, you know? All right. Uh, okay, so, dear AJ, I'm better at math than a cow. So can I eat the cow, since humans are obviously superior at something humans created? Hee <laughs> hee, checkmate animals, the Nutribor gang, from my room, because I never go out to touch the grass. Ah, oh, no, not the Nutribor, eh? Not the Nutribor and his goons. <laughs> you see, I'm, I'm already depressed. Oh, no. I, you know, I try to, to remain positive. And I try to, you know, keep it light and fun and stuff. And then I get questions like this. Like, what is this? I'm better at math than a cow. Uh, what, what? I mean, this guy actually told me, if, if, in case you didn't know, this guy actually told me that he has no problem eating a brain dead cow as long as it doesn't create, like, more demand for it. And I'm like, what the heck is that? So it's... It's right to do the wrong thing just once, basically. That's what you're saying. Like, if it's just the one time and you're not creating more demand for it, then it's okay. As long as there's no price tag on, on, the, on the thing. Yeah, well, no. I'm sorry, but that's not how this works. Because the, the, the thing that's wrong here is seeing the animal as something for you to consume in the first place. It doesn't matter if the cow is brain dead or is dumb or doesn't know math or whatever. And you don't know, you don't know their life, you don't know if they can do moves. Eh? Maybe that's what they do. Maybe they have their own cow numbers that you don't know nothing about. So to to you know to assume otherwise, I mean this is just your human supremacy at work here, yeah? Terrible, terrible things from the Nutriwar and his goons. Just bloody awful. Ugh. Ah, uh, nah. Nah, nah, nah. Okay, now let's, let's go to the second one because, ah, uh, I don't know, I, I already lost all, you know, whatever, I, I don't care. Let's go to the second one now. Okay. Dear AJ, uh -huh. I'm a Spanish bullfighter and I didn't like how you made us look in your story the other day. What we do is art. Manuel from Spain. Oh, Manuel, come on, what is this? It's not art, okay? It's not art. Killing is not art. Bleeding someone out to, to, to death is not art. And remember, the bull is someone. They are an individual, you know? The, the bull is an individual, okay? A frightened animal who doesn't want to be there in the arena with you and doesn't want any of this to happen to him and it's horrible the the, the humiliation the torture the the murder you know it's it's horrible you know ah, if you're, you're from Spain but the the s is silent you know it's this is terrible oh man do do better Manuel find another find another career you know you just find some other, you know, thing to do, but not this. 
man. Do, do better, really. Consider the, the animal. Consider your victims. And make a change for the better. If not, I hope the next time you get Nolito, the awesome bull, who, who you know, well, he retired, you know, according to my story, but, you know. And that, that's the sad part, you know, that my story, with a happy ending, that's not what happens in real life at all. It's the complete opposite. And that, that's the real tragedy here, the tragedy of Nolito, that there are many Nolitos out there, but they don't get this chance to win in the arena and to come out on top and to retire and have like a cow wife and cow kids, you know, and, and, and live their best life. No, that, that's not what happens at all. Quite the, uh, quite the opposite. So, you know, that's the real tragedy here. That's what I wanted to highlight in that story that I, that I did the other day in my other series. Uh, the vegan realm, you know, so, I don't know, this is terrible, so Manuel, do better, bloody hell, or either do better or go to jail or something, because you're a criminal in my, in my mind, alright, so let's go to the third and final question, finally, let's go, yeah, uh, let's see, aha, uh -huh, blah, 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 uh -huh. okay, ah, Dear AJ, what does numquat mean? Lisa from Temecula. Ah, Lisa from Temecula. Ah, I like, I like saying that, Temecula. Temecula, Temecula. Sounds cool, right? Temecula. It's fun to say. Now, uh, Lisa, let me tell you something. Numquat, okay? It's actually the short form of supercalifragilisticexpialinumquat. And that's all the time we have for today. According to my producer, sorry, I gotta go and I have to find some vegan food in France. Uh, that's the real challenge here, you know? However, am I going to continue being vegan here? Let's find out. Maybe I'll do some update and see what, what vegan findings, you know, <laughs> I come up with, you know? You never know. So, I'm gonna do like, uh, I'm gonna make like the French and baguette the hell out of here. So, you know, stop hurting animals, start turning veganese. Till next time. AJ out. I'm gonna live forever. <laughs>